This is my first attempt at a screencast of how to generate an HDR image. I'm going to open up Lightroom. This is how I browse all my pictures. I'm so used to working in Lightroom that it's pretty much the default for everything I do. Okay, and it actually opened up to a picture I'd like to use. So um, I'll note down here the location of where this file is. Um, I recommend using a raw file just because you get a lot more dynamic range in a raw file versus a JPEG. JPEG is pretty much useless unless it was bracketed shots. So, um, there we go. We'll open up Photomatics. Um, we're going to use a single file conversion. That's basically going to allow you to use a single raw file to get an HDR image. So, right here, we're going to choose this option of converting a raw file into a pseudo HDR. And we're going to select the folder that we want to pull our picture from. And this is from a trip to Cadillac for our nephew's graduation open house. Select that folder. Um, the file I want to use is listed right here. So it's. 17. Here we go. We'll click Run. Um, it's going to create a subfolder within that master folder for this pseudo HDR image. You can see up here that it's saving it as a, a radiance file. And I think that's something particular to, to Photomatic, so I'm not positive. Okay, so there. It tells you that this is where the file is saved at. So now, back to Photomatics again. We'll click Open. This is the folder that it was in. We'll open that right up. And here we've got this. Now we'll go to Tone Mapping, and this is where the fun happens. Alright. You can see behind it in Lightroom, that's the original. So. Um, as far as the light smoothing goes, I like to keep that kind of middle of the road. Um, I like mine darker and a little more ominous looking, so I'll bump the black point up quite a bit. We'll darken that up some. Um, I don't really care for the way the shadows in these trees are going, so we're going to turn down the saturation shadow to the. Let's see if we can tone that down just. Just a bit, not too much. We'll bring the shadow smoothing down, and that pretty much eliminated that haze that you get right there. And that will allow us again to bump this black point up a little bit more. And we'll get again that that ominous look that I prefer. Um, I keep the temperature range in a negative number again. It just gives it a cooler, darker look to it. Um, be able to bump the strength up a little bit. I think that's good. It doesn't look too over the top. I mean, it about represents what I saw when I was there that day. And again, we'll compare it to what's behind it in Lightroom. I think I prefer this one, so. <clears throat> we'll process this. Now it's doing the tone mapping. And it takes a minute, I guess, until Photomatics comes up. Photomatics comes out with a, a Snow Leopard Ready 64 bit capable version. And there we have it right there. Big difference. File. We'll just save it. We'll call it Dark Skies. I'll just throw that on my desktop. And we'll call that end of tutorial. Sound good?